Hi everyone! I hope you are having a good evening, morning, whatever it is. But I have tried to do this video several times at this point. And I was going to read about, because I talk about sexual immorality and what God says about love. And I keep, my page keeps getting changed. And there's several passages that it has showed me. And every single time, it's not even the same passage. It's talking about spiritual wisdom. So I think that's what I'm going to talk about this video and then I'll do another video on the other one which is uh it the other one was talking about glorifying God in body and spirit so I will do that in in the next video but this one and it's getting late because it just the way the day went it was a very interesting day <laughs> it seems to happen a lot lately so I'm going to read in 1 Corinthians and I'm going to read this passage about spiritual wisdom because I feel like God keeps showing me that and that I need to talk about that. So we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 through, through 16. And it says, however, we speak, blah, <laughs> we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age. I know that's been, God's been putting that on my heart a lot. So I'm not surprised that he keeps uh, moving me towards these scriptures that the, the the verse that our battle is not against flesh and blood but against the principalities of this world I think we're seeing a lot of that so I think it's very important for us to read how to fight this spiritual battle so it says those who are Okay, I'll start over. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. It's been really breaking my heart that you try and you speak the truth and when people don't listen, it just, it really does break my heart. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages of our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. You ever think about that? They wouldn't have crucified the Lord if they had their eyes opened and they knew that he was Jesus was the son of God but as it is written I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him I love talking about that love because Yes, I love the Lord with all my heart, mind, soul, strength. And that's where it starts. We need to you we need to love the Lord. And it's a built relationship and the more I know how much big how mighty my God is, how much of a protector he is going through how many things that we've gone through and that I can trust him. And he means what he says when he, he writes these things in the Bible. He's the same God throughout the whole Bible. And he will keep his promises. He does these things for us. And the more you seek him, the more I fall, the more I seek him, the more I fall in love with the Lord. It says, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit 
Spirit, through His Holy Spirit. So we invite Jesus into our lives. Then we get He gives us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, we're the temple for the Holy Spirit. That's pretty amazing. It's hard to even for us to fathom that that power, God's might, he, he puts it right in here. And then he teaches us. As we read the Word of God, he teaches us. And so we read the Bible every night as a family. And as we're reading, we, we just pray that the, the Holy Spirit guide us and teach us and direct us. So even if we get to a point that we don't have the word of God to read. We have the Holy, us believers have the Holy Spirit. And if you're not a believer, you can become a believer. Just seek the Lord and believe that Jesus is the son of God and call out to Jesus and invite him in and say, Lord, I want to, I repent of my sins and I want to follow you. And I want you to come into my life. He'll listen, he will. And so, I'm going to keep reading. These, but God revealed them to us, to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. That makes sense, right? Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words, which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. I think we're seeing that a lot lately. So we, I know I understand exactly what it's talking about. Nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. Trying to dispel some things that people say, does it not? For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Wow. So we're, that is big punch there. And that is an awesome passage. Now I know why God wanted me to read this to you tonight. And I know somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to know the truth that... You know, I, I, and I, I've gotten that comment too that somebody said, well, it says that we can't even understand it. So, well, you can if you become a believer. You love the Lord. You invite Jesus into your life. He gives you the Holy Spirit. You can understand the things of the Lord when you seek Him just as much as we do. But what the problem is, is they reject God. They don't, you don't love the, if you don't love the Lord, you're not going to spiritually understand the things the way the Holy Spirit teaches us. And I completely understand because I love the Lord so much. And I've done that before. I mean, I've been so distressed in what was going on around me, and I'd read the Word of God, sit in my car, read the Word of God. It's the only quiet place. And I would not, I'm like, Lord, I've read this six times. I can't understand it. I'm. It's not sticking in my head. I'm too stressed out. I feel like I'm wasting my time. I was never wasting my time. How many times the Lord 
has later revealed something to me right when I needed it. Or that passage comes back to mind. The God is good. He can do all this. He loves us. And he will, if we seek him and we genuinely just keep going and keep reading his word, keep, keep listening to him, we will understand and then you'll have an, those aha moments like, wow, yes, I understand exactly. And I'm so glad I didn't give up. God's wisdom is so much better. Uh, I just think the whole word of God is so prevalent. And I think sometimes God gives us a different passage. It really isn't along the lines of exactly what I talk about most of the time. But I think everything goes along with it. God, God's, we need God's wisdom when it comes to pornography or anything that comes into our lives. We need God. We need the Holy Spirit saying, uh, no, no, that's bad for you. It's a really bad path to go down. And he gets, puts that conviction in there and you feel really like, oh, I really shouldn't be doing this. So all this, we need God's wisdom. We need to seek God's wisdom because there is a demonic wisdom. And I'm going to read that passage later too. Yeah, I love you all. I think that God is, is calling people right now to, to turn to him as showing the light through us and that we are just trying to get the truth out there and we want you to have a life that is joyful and you have the goodness of god in there everybody have a good evening morning night whatever it is there love you all and lord willing i will talk to you later